Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL. If you have one of those from year 2007 to year 2014, if you want to see where your fuse boxes are located, you want to see the diagrams, stay with us, we'll explain about that, where you can buy cheap parts and tools, that way you do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL why let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located where fuel injector fuse is located uh, all you have to do watch the video one two minutes you replace that fuse you're back on the road so we make it for your convenience guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way do not waste money and time so let's start on it now so guys if you have a gmc yukon that generation here yukon and yukon xl practically it's the same vehicle just the xl it's a longer wheelbase practically guys now you have up to three different fuse boxes in that suv where they're located one of them is extremely hidden one of them it's under the hood if you guys open the hood right here on the driver's side we have that cover go ahead and open it and under that cover you're going to find the main engine fuse box that we have a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys those are the fuses for the engine fuse box now you have some more as well go ahead and open the driver door here on the side of the dash you have another cover right there on the side of the dash pull that cover behind it you'll find the main interior fuse box that will look something like that one then you have another one that's hidden with four fuses and it's behind that panel under the dash if you look under that panel you're going to have a electrical box with multiple connectors and right here you're going to have four very important 25 amp fuses those are the main fuse boxes if you know we want to know about the diagram we'll be making a video about every single fuse every single relay so you can conveniently find just the one that you need let's say you need a radio fuse fuel pump fuel injection fuse anything like that you can find the video on our channel watch it for one two minutes fix the problem you're back on the road hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time